thrown everything into Aria. Every tool I've got as an actor, I've used in Aria. That it's really hard to create new people now. Every time I do it, it's just a little bit worse. Like, don't do it quite as good as Aria. Don't make them quite as strong or quite as cool as Aria. You left me to die. First, I robbed you. I'm 100% gonna miss that. I'm still not done with, like, mourning her. I, we can't talk about that. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I was quite young and I had such a big imagination. In those scenes when I was younger, I would really convince myself that I was there and it was happening, you know? That was the only really way that I knew how to act, just by really living that sort of moment. Bring me his head. No! Stop no! Please, someone stop him! I cried at Ned's death. I found it really, really sad, but I think also because I was reliving what it was like shooting it. And like, when we were there, Hundreds of extras screaming, traitor, murderer. There was this one time that we did it and I was just crying so much and it was really sad. So when I watched it again on screen, I couldn't stop forgetting that pain, that like, just, just scary, just confusion again. Like the same thing, all those emotions that Aria felt, I really feel like I did feel. So watching that, I was really teary. <laughs> what a wuss. <laughs> <laughs> the most shocking moment was like when Cersei blew up the sept. You saw cracks in Cersei's armor before that, but this was like the moment where she went full psycho. <laughs> She's testing her power and it's just like a jaw-dropping moment that really blew my mind. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Who taught you that shite? The greatest swordsman who ever lived. Syria Pharrell. I learned a lot from Rory. He doesn't come off like actory. When am I going to get a horse of my own? Little lady wants a pony. The little lady wants away from your stench. The nature of our scenes have just been really, really great fun to work through. You're afraid of fire. You look like a scared little girl. It was just such a strange dynamic that we had, but it was a lot of fun. You're gonna leave me to die again if I get hurt? Probably. <laughs> it was just a pinnacle point in my life as well. I learned a lot from him and um, really respect him. Sandor. Thank you. being really late, being tired, but also being like, having a good time. I was flicking pigeon pie at Sophie. That was my first day on set, yeah. My favorite bit probably being flicking food at Sansa. <laughs> they were saying, can you just like try and get it like right on her cheek? And I just remember thinking like, you want me to actually aim it? Like, can't you do, this is the movies. Can't you make it happen? <laughs> remember thinking, oh, maybe they're going to fire me because I can't get it right. But they didn't. I'm still here, a decade later. <laughs> it was really great fun. I never could have survived what you survived. You're the strongest person I know. I believe that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Don't get used to it. Still very strange and annoying. Honestly, the most fun I had was working with Sophie. Just messing around, just being two 20-year-olds on, on a film set. <laughs> when we did that scene when Arya's reeling Sansa and Sansa's like, what, you were off training and we're slagging each other and like really going at each other. That day on set, I've, I've just never laughed so much in my life. It was so much fun. It was a day with a wheelchair. I've still got that video, jeez. Me and Sophie just messing around on um, Brand's wheelchair. <laughs> we were just going mental. We get on really well in real life, so it's really annoying when we have to go and then sort of I'm being a bit horrible to her and she's being a bit rude. She's just my best friend. I mean, like, who else gets to go to work with their best friend? Here begins the most tedious series that I shot. Fala Mogulis. I actually had a lot of fun doing it because for viewers, they were like, what is going on? I've been sweeping this floor for days. 
Good. I didn't come here to sweep floors. Why come then? You said you'd teach me how to be a faceless man. A man teaches a girl. She wants to get into changing her face and stuff and killing people and doing cool things. But it's a slow and long process, which she ends up messing up pretty quickly. <laughs> the waif ends up telling Jack and oh, Arya's killed someone that she shouldn't have. A girl stole from the many-faced god. No, a debt is owed. Then Arya ends up getting poisoned and then she's blind. What's happening? What's happening? I never realized how awful that is. <laughs> if you look at the aria that entered the House of Black and White and you look at the aria that left, it, for me, had to be, like, one of the biggest changes in a character. Have you ever used it? Once or twice. All of these lessons had to lead to something. It's like school to me. It's really shaped me as a person. In school, you learn equations and you learn spelling and you learn maths, physics. Uh, but then when you leave school, you go out into the big wide world and you learn about yourself and you learn about people and you learn about how you connect and communicate. Where did you learn all this stuff about the senior and her Illyrian steel sword? From my father. Can't say I've ever met a literate stonemason. Have you met many stonemasons, my lord? I'm so confident. I've just got this confidence from the show and from playing Arya. I really feel like I just want to inject that into each and every person that I know and love, but then also any girl that admires the work that I do. I want to let everyone sort of feel that sort of confidence that I've been lucky to feel because of this show. There's nothing like Game of Thrones. I was very, very lucky to meet the people that I met and to work with the people that I've worked with. I truly believe on this show that the stars just aligned and it just made magic. I think it's rare to find a group of people that work together so well and care about each other so much. It's been a really safe place for me to mess around and figure out how to be an actor. If I do nothing else, I'll be happy. Thanks to you guys, you've completely changed my life and my family's lives forever. And I'm really grateful for that. I'm lucky that I play Aria and no scene is ever boring.